Hello there kids. Today's topic is reading and repetition. We will be reading a very simple story and afterwards we will learn how to break words into sounds, break words into smaller words and break words into parts and identify the word parts. Now we should all remember that we've been learning how to read small words. Now we are going to try a few big words to help in our reading. But do not worry kids, I will take my time to pronounce the big words so that you can follow easily. Now are we all ready? Then let's go. I have seven chickens. I named them after the days of the week. This is Sunday and Monday. This is Tuesday. This is Wednesday. This is Thursday and Friday. And lastly, this is Saturday. I love my chickens. Now that was awesome. Now let's all try to say some of the big words we saw on the screen. Seven. We can break it down by clapping our hands. It is easy, like this. Seven. Excellent job. Chickens. Chickens. Wow, now that was amazing. Now let's try Sunday. Sunday. Excellent work, everyone. Now if that was too difficult, you can read those big words letter by letter. Like this. Sunday. S -a -n day. Sunday. Let's try another one. Monday. M a n day. Monday. Amazing. Very soon, we'll all be reading sentences with ease. Tuesday. T u u s day. Wednesday. W n s day. No, no, no. It is not Wednesday, but W n s day. Friday. Right, a. Come on, we're almost done. Saturday, sat, day. Now I'm definitely sure if we keep practicing like this, we will be reading in no time. That is an excellent job by everyone. So let's look at what we have learned today. Today we learned how to break big words into parts. We tried the clapping method, seven, and we learned how to break words into smaller parts to identify them. And now, it's assessment time.